BBC London News. Transport for London has begun consulting on whether lorries should be banned from London's roads if certain safety requirements are not met. Test side guards and extra mirrors should be fitted to reduce the number of people killed or injured on the capital's roads every year. Our reporter Tara Welsh has more on the plans. The Mayor of London looks much more comfortable on his preferred mode of transport, a bike. But that's what today was all about, making HGVs safer for sharing the roads with cyclists. Mirrors all over the place. Three on the left hand side, two on the right hand side. I got a centre mirror there as well for anybody coming in front of me. Derek's lorry is an example of what HGVs will look like should the plans go ahead. Under the proposal, all vehicles over three and a half tonnes would have to have extra mirrors like this one. And they'd all need to be fitted with sidebars like these to stop cyclists being dragged underneath the lorry. It gives me greater view of what's around me, um, especially when you're out in the city of London. But adapting the vehicles can be costly. It's a quite a large financial burden for a company of our size, but at the end of the day, how much can you put on the, the, a life? Last year alone, nine cyclists died after collisions with HGVs, so City Hall wants these measures in place by next year. These lorries are responsible for a vastly disproportionate number of cyclists and indeed pedestrian deaths. And uh, without this basic safety equipment will save lives every single year. Still more could be done by designing a lorry which has direct vision so the driver can see exactly the pedestrians and cyclists around him on the road. What does that involve? It involves a redesign of the lorry cab, um, move the engine back a bit and the driver forward a bit and bring the driver much further down. It's possible, we see it on the, the lorries that collect rubbish outside our streets, it needs to be designed to fit on all lorries like this one. But for now, it's hoped the changes will reduce scenes like these on our streets. Tara Welsh, BBC London News.